Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back. Today, we are in downtown Cato Paphos, and, well, we're gonna make an especially for you. Especially for Miss Hodging, we'll see you the both. Hello, everybody. Hello, how are you today? We are well. I hope you are well, too. Today, especially for you, Fiona. Oh. And Martin, <laughs> sorry, Rollins, especially for you, Fiona and Martin, Rollins, just smile. Right, come on, Lebu, you can't take her anywhere. Let's get into the back of this hotel and let's see what's going on. But you took me already. You can't take me anywhere every no, time, take but you you're anywhere. taking me all the time. Okay, come on. Right, come on, let's get on with it. Right, let's get come into on. the back of this place, hit and run. Nice gardens, that's for sure. Have a look at that. Isn't that rather nice? Wow, what wow. a shade. Wow. Beautiful. Isn't it nice? We should come here one day and have our breakfast. Bring our two chairs, maybe three. I'm well, going to sit on two chairs and yeah. you on one. Well, I was planning to come in here and eat some Martin's and breakfast. And an English breakfast. Very nice English breakfast, yes. So... We're going to go and show you the splendour of this hotel. Yes, Lebu. Mr. Paul. Yes. Have you seen this thousand years trees? Well, they may not be a thousand no, years old, but they're pretty old. Look, look at that. Look. look at that. A nice tranquil area. If it gets a little bit too hot for you, drag one of those sun loungers over there, and you're in the shade. Beautiful. Can I let's, climb? Yes. Can what? I climb? Up a tree. Not yet. You're not a monkey, are you? Oh. Right. Let's get round this pool yes. before the security shuts us down. I forgot that I'm a cat. You no. forgot that you're a cat. You're speaking Chinese, aren't you? No. no. Right. So, Martin and Fiona, or Fiona and Martin, you are going to have a wonderful holiday when you get here because it is a spectacular hotel. It's hotting up. The tourists are cooking, as we can see. Let's take you around that spectacular pool. Wow. What a nice pool that is. Have you seen the little fountain over there? Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Wow. I'd be quite happy in this hotel, I think. Have you seen this little disabled access? Very nice. Yes. Or for push chairs, etc., etc. That is really, really nice. And there's an outdoor seating bar as well. And some nice gardens. It's got a homely effect, doesn't it, LaBeouf? Don't you think? Well, first of all, is it sitting bar and standing bars? You just said sitting bar. Did I? Did I confuse my English? Yeah. Maybe I did. Let's give you a view from up above, because often the view from up above is better. Look at that. There's a nice bar to get a drink on this side, and you can access the bar from the poolside area which is very, very nice. But look at this, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't it, LeBou? What have you got to say? Can I be an Aphrodite in this little green pool? You can if you want. Okay, where to start from? Where to start? But what a spectacular fountain waterfall into the pool, under the bridge, overflows into another pool and then there's the main pool. Come on, Labouf, let's get down here and have a look. What are you doing, Labouf? Ah. No. Ah. Right, Labouf has gone the wrong way as usual. Right, let's get back down here and see what is going on because there's the main pool area and there's the main bar. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful hotel. And here, is the indoor swimming pool. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at that, Laboo. Yeah. You can't complain about this hotel, can no. you? No. So what have you got to say? I've got to say you can't complain. You can only not complain. You can only not complain. Exactly. Laboo understands. So if you want to not cook in the sun and have a swim, Martin, Fiona, this is where you come. In fact, I think I'm going to come back here later. What do you say, Laboo? Yes, we yes, let's have a look what's through here. Wow, Ooh, cool tables. Look at that. This little hotel's got something for everyone, LeBeau. Yeah. Look at that. Larry, can you win for me? No, I can't because I haven't got any money. When Marty comes here, no, I'll see if no, I can get a euro off him. No. One euro? One euro only. Look at that. Shame. So, there are facilities for everybody, even the likes of Miss Oching, Receive You, Booth, and me. Let's get back out to the pool, Booth. I'll follow you.
Where are you going that way? Look at that. There's a gymnasium. Look at that. Wow. There really is something for everyone. But you know what I like the most? The shade under these old trees. Absolutely beautiful. And the playground for the children. LaBeouf, what have you got to say? And a playground from, for the children. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, uh, I am amazed, yeah? These areas are not young, not new, but they are so pretty well done and cleaned and very fresh smelling, so you can feel it. And I would like to tell you, we're gonna have a sleep under their beds. We are. The plan is to have a word with the manager and see if we can get your bed, Fiona and Martin, jacked up just enough to get us both underneath it. Anyway, we'll take you out to the pool and then we're going to sneak out the back entrance because the security have not caught us yet and we're going to go and find your favourite pub which is not far away. Look at that. Lebeau, what have you got to say? Well, I would like to say that it immediately came to me the wish of swimming and washing my hair under the shower. Can't take her anywhere, you know. But what a beautiful pool. Look at that. Yeah. There's something quite special about this hotel. Because, like you say, it's a relatively old hotel that's been refurbished over the years. But, of course, the setting amongst all of these mature trees and gardens makes it quite unique. It's somewhere that's very tranquil yet in the middle of downtown Cato Paphos. The beach is literally three or four minutes walk. You've got a range of cafes just outside and now we're going to pop to your favourite pub and see if we can get a pint of beer off them for free. LaBeouf, what have you got to say? Well, first of all, I would like to say to you all that the people seem to be very happy and enjoyable. And the second, I love those trees because in Cyprus, Anywhere you go, the nature as the trees I have seen here in this area is not that many trees of this kind of trees. Yes, there is some palm trees around the sea area, but not those trees. I've seen those trees first time. So, we're going to leave you with a fade out across the pool and then we're off to the Crocodile Pub. Look at that. Right, come on the booth. let's get going. I'm sure there's a couple of security guards on the way. They've spotted us. Oh, Mr. Paul, we don't do anything illegal. No, but by the letter of the law, technically, we are. We're not supposed to enter this compound without a mask and without being double or triple or quadruple jab. Anyway, there's the plage. Look at that. Straight down there is the plage and a range of restaurants. So, if you get bored of the swimming pool, the indoor one or the outdoor one, Literally, two minutes walk. Fiona, Martin, that's where it's at. Look at that, it's blue. Right, come on, Booth, let's get around here and show them where their favourite pub is. And it's called the Crocodile, Crocodile Bar. Crocodile. Crocodile. Well, yes. it's around here. Yes. Now, do we know that hotel over there? What's that hotel called? The Olympic Lagoon. That's the Olympic for Miss Ellie. Yes. And guess what, Miss Ellie? You missed a lot. Well, don't uh, disappoint the girls. No, we're only joking, Miss Ellie. Wherever you stay, you're going to have a fantastic holiday. And hopefully this summer, your mother and father are going to bring you out. Hopefully we're going to meet your grandparents as well. we just like to make a little fun because it was you that said to us you wanted to know what you'd missed. Well, there it is. Now, what's that over there, LaBeouf? Crocodile. Crocodile. Right, let's get across the road and let's have a quick hit and run, in and out, and let's see if we can beat that thing yeah, that usually doesn't work. We have eaten like. in the crocodile. We have. And it was quite nice. It was. It wasn't too bad. The service was very good. The young man who served it was extremely pleasant and very, very friendly. And we know at night time, when there's sports, football, that sort of stuff on, it turns itself into a bit of a sports bar. So, next door to it, it's got the Pegasus pub, is that how you say it? Pegasus pub. Pegasus pub. There's that one. 
sometimes people can get confused as to which is which but that is the pegasus and that is the crocodile now be careful the crocodile is very angry he's standing with the beer yes but we've got to be very careful because unfortunately in the background it's playing something but it's a very nice pub look at that Getting hungry and hungry, step by step. Hung there's Romeo's restaurant next door to it. So if you're looking for your Juliet, although Martin, we know that you found your Fiona. Let's get back over to the main entrance, and then we'll say a big goodbye. What do you say? Of course, we will say a big goodbye. Go on the I'll follow you. I'll follow you. You're not going to sing my Bonnie again, are you? My bonnie's over the ocean, my bonnie's over the sea, my bonnie's over the ocean. Which version is oh, it? Which version bring. is it? Ah, was it the bring or the bring? Now, in between. Now, it's in, in between. between. I'm not so, English, not Russian. No. Nope. So, we've come up with a new version. We're going to release the bring version, the bring version and the bring version. Correct? Yes? Well, I remember. Let's not be funny. I remember when I started to learn English language, our teacher, who was an amazing woman, she said that if you, while you talk in English, if you have in the throat the pain then it means you speak English correct and I thought oh my god these poor English people they shouldn't talk a lot otherwise they always have a sore throat I'm gonna give her some pain later there we are again yeah we how do you say it Avanti, Avanti Hotel a Avanti really really nice Hotel, hotel. Not, it's not the King Elephant no there's the massive car park but hold on a minute you can park there for three years that doesn't sound too bad now we are entering the front, the main foyer. So we've done this hotel in reverse because we don't want to get shut down. At least now if they shut us down as we walk in, we can turn around and walk out and say, there you go. Fiona and Martin, you're going to have a fantastic hotel. It's a beautiful hotel in a beautiful location. Why are you so sudden, Mr. Paul? I'm showing them the entrance. Oh. It's a very nice entrance, by the way. Very grand, isn't it? Very, very grand. Look at that. Beautiful. What a beautiful entrance it is. Go on, the booth. I'll follow you. If they will say yes anything, I will say we are looking for Martin and... Uh... Martin and Fiona, we are. Wow, what a lovely little hotel. We're both what We've done it to again. Say. <laughs> Two spies. Two Agent 007s. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We're loving you again. Especially for you, Martin and Fiona. Enjoy it. And only smile and be always in a good mood like we are. No matter what. Now, we're feeling very, very happy with ourselves that we managed to do the review on this hotel without the security passing us or catching us, just so you understand. And it is a beautiful hotel. Fiona and Martin, I'm not sure if you stayed here before, but it's beautiful. You're going to enjoy it. Let's show you, and let's walk out that rear path again. And I think, as a special treat today, we'll walk you to the plage. It's two minutes. Leboeuf, what do you okay. say? So, especially for you, Fiona and Martin, not only are we reviewing your hotel with a fast, quick and kick, losing my English, hit and run, we're going to take you out to the plage and you're going to love it. Stay with us. Boof, what have you got to say? I would like to make a sunbathe. 
she's obsessed with sunbathing she's lived here for 20 years and to be honest she sunbathes very very little because she burns very very quickly because i'm too white too when white. i start to when i start to get a, a sunbathe on the first day if i stay a little bit more on the sun no matter what cream i use which uh centimeters factor uh, yeah no matter how high the factor how high I get burnt you get like burnt. the boiled uh, prawn. Like a boiled prawn. And Not the nice eyes for a boiled out. prawn. And the eyes out. She often has her eyes out. Have you anyway, ever seen boiled let's... prawn? Well, yeah, I haven't actually it. witnessed it, but I've seen it on TV. Let's get down to the plage and show the viewers and Fiona and Martin the true spectacality of the location. Five minutes restaurants that way, ten minutes to the harbour. Restaurants obviously across the road. The Rib Shack restaurant there. There's a Chinese restaurant. There's a French restaurant. There's tea for two. These are some very, very good restaurants. And an Italian Luigi's Pizzeria. If that's how you say it. There's a lion coming for free as well. The booth. Tea for two and, and two for tea. Two for tea. Exactly. Tea that would be a good name for our restaurant when we open it next two door. Two for tea. Two for tea. Exactly. And we'll be ever so slightly cheaper. So therefore we'll be a little bit busier. Right, let's show you the view, and in about two minutes we'll be there, and we'll show you the sea's a little bit chopsy today, but it actually makes it more beautiful. Chopsy? Chopsy, yes, wavy, bouncy. Ah, yeah. Now, if Bry's watching, as he can understand, yet again, we are having one of our nonsensical days. Nonsensical. And if Mr. Doug is watching, I'm noticing there's quite a lot of surf on the sea. Probably not enough for surfboarding, but surf paddling, maybe. Now, unfortunately, this is a slightly run-down area of the Cato Paphos area. It's a good but idea. They have put some idea. screens up with some, should we say, greenery to make it look a bit more attractive. That's the rear entrance to the hotel that you missed, Miss Ellie. This is the side of the hotel that you missed, Miss Ellie. Anyway. Some people who are going to have an inland view, they're going to look at this uh, work of art. Yes, and they will think that they have a sea view. They will. Right, let's get down to the plage, and then, as they say in American English, we'll call it a wrap. And Miss LaBeouf will say her final very big goodbye. And I'll say thanks for watching. Are you going to buy the ice cream to me? If you'd like one. You can't take me anywhere, no? Never can, no. Never could. Never can. But don't worry, I'll get rid of you soon. Yeah, but you're taking me anywhere. Well, I'm going to get rid of you soon. Everywhere? No, soon. Soon? Yes. Soon and everywhere. It's not the same. You won't be going everywhere very soon because going to get anywhere. rid of you. But anywhere. Yes. She's confusing English and I think I am as well. <laughs> There's Rambo Whippy, possibly the greatest ice cream in Paphos, after the Jamalamo restaurant. So if you want a mobile operator for an ice cream, and that's where you come. He's there pretty much every day, except for December and January, mm. I would say, yeah. So here we are, we come into the rear of the Olympic Lagoon Hotel. That's the hotel that you missed, Miss Ellie. And look at the lagoon, look at it, wow. Absolutely to die for. Okay, Booth, what have you got to say? Amazing day, beautifully done hotel. Enjoy the views. We're gonna come with more and more madnesses, of course. Look at the color of the sea, but we want to tell you, no, in a polite, we would like to tell you that we love you to meet. And thanks for watching, and bye-bye. See you very, very soon. If you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe, and come back for some more of our madness. I will leave you with a spectacular view of the Paphos coastline.